In this video, I want to go ahead and discuss adjacent vertices and edges. So this will be a short lesson in graph theory. Um, I'm just hoping that you have some experience with graphs just a little bit to uh, fully understand this lesson. So let's jump right into it with talking about what are adjacent vertices. So recall that vertices are the points on the graph. So here's a vertice. Ooh, I should say a vertex. Vertex is singular. And you can label it using a capital letter. Pick your favorite letter. And that is a vertex. Now, what makes two vertices adjacent? Well, two vertices are adjacent if they are joined by an edge. So if we take this vertex and connect it to another vertex, boop, these are now adjacent because they are directly connected with one another via an edge. We can also say that um, two vertices are adjacent if there is an edge in the graph that has both vertices as endpoints. So if you see this edge in a graph, notice that these two vertices share that edge. So they are adjacent. Let's go ahead and do some practice. So here is a graph that we're going to look at together and just do some endpoints. So let's look at the vertex A. So we want to figure out which vertices are adjacent to A. Apparently I can't spell today. That's okay. So what we need to do is look in the graph and say, okay, what vertices are they directly connected via an edge? So here's one edge that comes out of A, and it looks like it's directly connected to D. Let's see what else it's directly connected to. So here's another edge that comes out of A. It's directly connected to C as well. And then the last vertex, because there's three lines that are coming out of A, is B. Okay, so it is directly connected to D, C, and B. We can't get to any of the other vertices without traveling another edge. So they're not adjacent. Okay, think of them as they're the neighbors of A. Okay, let's try one more. So let's clean up the graph here. And hmm, what do we want to try? Let's try E, because E is kind of fun. It has a loop at the end, so it could be interesting. See how that changes what's adjacent. Okay, so let's look at the edges. So here's one edge that comes out of E. So it looks like it's directly connected to B as well. Okay, uh, let's see, another edge that comes out of E goes, leads us to D. So that's another adjacent vertex. And last but not least, you see this loop there. Well, a loop is another edge, which means that E is also adjacent to itself. It's got a nice cul-de-sac going on here. So we do have to list E as well because it's adjacent to itself. You can take an edge and then come back to it. Um, let's see, let's do one more just for fun. So adjacent, let's do, mm, let's do B for fun. Okay, I'm pumped, let's do it. So here's B. Well, we already know that it's adjacent to E. We found that out before, right? Okay, so we know it's adjacent to E. Uh, we also know B is adjacent to A. They share a common edge. Uh, if we look, it's also adjacent to F. And then it's actually adjacent to C. And we only need to list C once. Um, I know there's two paths to get there, but it's adjacent to C. We don't need to list it more than once. Okay, we know we can get to C. That's all we need to know for adjacent. So um, that is adjacent vertices directly connected. Let's go ahead and explore adjacent edges now. So edges are a little trickier, I find, but let's see what we can come up with. So recall that edges are the lines in the graph. 
So if you have two vertices, uh, they will be connected via an edge if there is a line there. So two edges are adjacent if they share a common vertex. So here's our first edge, which we would call AB, and it would be connected to this other edge as long as they share a common vertex. So notice that AB and BC share this common vertex of B. That means these two edges are connected. So let's go ahead and look at this. So now we're going to see adjacent edges. So let's pick an edge. Let's say the edge AB. Let's look at the edge AB. Okay, so I want to highlight okay, those. Now I'm going to use a different color to make sure I <clears throat> recognize the different edges. So AB is our original. Okay, we need to pick out all the edges that are connected to either A or B because then they'll care share that common vertex. So let's look at A first. So what are the edges that are connected to A? Well, it looks like AD, and you cannot see that, but AD, uh, and then another edge that's connected to A is going to be AC, okay? And those are the only edges that are connected to A on this side. So now we need to skip to the other end point, B, and we need to pick out all the edges that are connected to B. Let me pick out a better color. Hopefully purple will show up. So we're on the end point B. What is an edge that is connected to B? Well, let's go over here first. It looks like BF will be connected. Uh, let's see. This edge over here, EB, will also be connected. Now remember with edges, you can write it either EB or BE. You can flip those and they're the same exact edge. Now there are two more edges that are connected to B. There's BC and also BC. These are multiple edges, so we do wanna list both of those edges since there are two edges that lead to C from B. So those would be all the edges that are adjacent to the edge AB. Let's go ahead and try one more example. I'll try to pick one that has a few less edges so you're not here all day, but adjacent to uh, let's pick ED. I think ED is kind of a fun one. Okay, so we have the line. So remember, adjacent is that they share a common vertex. So they either share the vertex E or the vertex D. So let's go ahead and start with, why don't we start with E, something different. Okay, so what are the edges that come out of E? Well, we have EB. Uh, let's see, we also have this loop here, which we do want to include, which the loop is written as EE -E for reference, okay? And there's no other edges that come out of E. So we're done with the vertex E, so we need to jump to D and say, what are the edges that come out of D? Well, uh, it looks like there's only one edge besides our original line that we're finding, our, our original edge that we're finding adjacent edges to. So we would say the edge AD is the only one on this side. So you can see ED only has one, two, three edges that it's adjacent to, and we listed them out here using the vertices. So uh, that is adjacent edges and adjacent vertices. Hopefully you understand it a little bit better now. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to 
jump down to the comments and type away and good luck with your study in graph theory.